Modern medicine is rife with examples of double-edged swords, many of which took years to reveal both edges. For example, rare is the medication that does not have unpleasant, even lethal side effects. Some predicted, others unanticipated, a few even beneficial. The human body also is an example of a seemingly contradictory double-edged biologic process, inflammation. On one hand, inflammation is a normal physiologic process essential to the body's ability to heal itself. On the other hand, growing evidence shows that inflammation may be the underlying trigger that sets a daunting array of disease processes in motion. Good inflammation is an acute process that begins when you have an infection or injury which stimulates the immune system to release white blood cells and chemicals that fight off the infection or repair damaged tissue. Once the wound is healed, the inflammatory process is supposed to end, but sometimes inflammation persists or begins even if there is no injury or infection. It is this chronic inflammation which can cause few, if any, outward symptoms that scientists now believe may be the underlying culprit in a vast range of diseases, from cancer to arthritis, diabetes and heart disease, from Alzheimer's to Parkinson's, asthma, gout, psoriasis, multiple sclerosis, and even depression. Chronic inflammation can generate free radicals that injure DNA or damage blood vessel walls, leading to cardiovascular disease, and as many as one in three cancers are believed to be caused or influenced by inflammation. There are numerous factors that can contribute to chronic inflammation, including autoimmune disease, smoking, obesity, alcohol, chronic stress, and long-term exposure to irritants such as industrial chemicals and pollution. While these factors have varying mechanisms by which they produce pathology, the common pathway to disease appears to be inflammation. This provides a unique research opportunity to build bridges across disciplines, transcending the usual boundaries between specialties. The goals? hasten scientific advances, generate novel treatments, and accelerate translation to improved health.